So, set it wise, looking down, and like I said, very, very good. We can't sort of see from here, but the ball was getting a little bit too far forward. I think because you're used to it in a golf ball kind of in front of you, like a tennis shot, you're used to putting the ball that way. Just got to bring it back just a little bit. Again, just right to centre down for your sort of right chest there. With every club, all that's going to change is this foot's going to get either further back for longer clubs or narrow for shorter shots, which gives the impression the ball's moving, yeah? If I put that cup there, that now is, that cup is right centre. Mm -hmm. Now it's in the centre. Yep. Now it's back stance and been a chip shot. So depending on where that trail foot goes, that will perceive to be moving up and down the stance, but it still stays the same from that foot all the time. Yeah? So find a constant from that right foot. For you, you have a tendency. Sometimes when you get... Either, I hate to use the word lazy, that sounds really negative. Either when you get a bit lazy or a bit quick, or you just rush the shots. You just drag the ball back in, and when you're done quickly, you just go back to your default being a little bit too far forward. So okay. give yourself that time. Just make sure when you're checking there, okay? If needs be, you can always put two clubs on the golf, on the ground, and this is something I always recommend to golfers when they're playing. Have a, two clubs on the ground like so. Mm -hmm. Obviously not on the ball, but somewhere below your feet there. So you can always see where your ball position is correct. Just to okay. make sure that, okay, eliminate one of the variables that could creep That's in. Man. Exactly. And then you'll get used to, when you look down there, okay, there's the ball position. There's my hand. What does that look like, okay? If I move that ball foot, what does that look like? Okay, I can see my hands are over my right foot more, where there's a back here, it's not so far over my right foot. So you just start looking at things and how it visually looks. But from a full swing perspective, as I said, takeaway, very good. The club face now is a lot stronger. The stuff we did with the, sort of the club going back there with the face putting down, it's good. Back swing wise, absolutely fine there, okay. So on your seven eyes, it's not too short there in terms of length, okay. Coming back in the golf ball nicely on plane here now. Club face reasonably square there now. It's from here where a lot of left shoulder comes in. Your right shoulder, I mean your left shoulder that's almost facing target. Your shoulders is almost kind of on that line. They almost like they've gone right around yeah. there. Yeah. And then the right arm's got to kind of brace itself to kind of hold on to that golf club. Yeah. And that for me is from a sort of a, a health perspective, we said it just Long that move, just just that move, just a stretch, and that's only with a seven iron. Yeah, longer club is going to be even worse, I'd imagine. So, we still want that same sensation through impact as we come through. Okay, coming back in with the club face nice and square, but it's from here now. This part of the swing where you can practice your warm up going just to here, get that yeah. good impact, yeah. and then build it up. And now look at your right elbow. Now it's kind of functioning down more, and that to me is a much healthier kind of finish yeah. position. Yeah. That is down nice and relaxed over your shoulder there, okay? And that's when you look at most golfers on TV, that's kind of where the club's somewhere in this sort of area, not kind of, even, even fleet with the sort of finishes swing there, it's still kind of, it's not kind of that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So you look at these sort of swings that, and again, it almost feels less of a swing because you're using the kind of the good impact position, which is going to be now improved because the ball position's gone back a little bit. That one there was being a bit toey slappy. So you're losing five, 10 yards, but still whacking it 170, 160. Yeah but you're having to do so by whacking it hard than you really want to, yeah? yeah, yeah. So the, the, the compensation of the ball forward and a poor strike, toeies and thins and stuff, and then you have to sort of chase after it with your left shoulder to try and get to the golf ball, and then finishing just around there too far. Yeah, just too much pressure on that shoulder. Yeah, young, strong fit, and I'll see how you get away with it, but 20 down the line maybe later, that's going to start hurting and stuff. If, not again. And if there is a limitation or a weakness there, chances are going forward that it's going to be sort of aggravated slightly by that swing. I'm not saying that's going to cause it to get worse, but it's not going to help, is it, really? So I think if you're going to start playing more and more and more, I mean, if you go away with the boys and have sort of three or four games of golf in a, in a week, so we say, yeah. which you might well do, they've been away and stuff, you come back, you be like, oh, it's going to put you off playing more and more. And again, it's not going to make you want to practice. So in terms of sort of when you're playing or practicing, should I say, start off with some swings, only go back to kind of this far, okay? So sort of short length back swings to about here, and just hit shots this way, yeah? Just to sort of dink them forward, sort of 60, 70 yards with a 7-9, just to get a good impact. Balls, he's just striking just left of that, yeah, the white line there. Gets a good swing, and then build it up to a bit longer, a bit longer, a bit longer, until you start learning what that feeling is. And it's just for you, I think, the second we say, so what, what's a, a backhand tennis shot feel like? Yeah. Or to backhand top spin, you went, oh, okay, I did, oh, okay, yeah. You wouldn't naturally go... No, not to pull it around there. So try and replicate moves that you do naturally, yeah? You move the body in that way fairly comfortably. We can get yourself to there without having to think about it. And that, that'll just become something you just do without any thought, through which is fine. And through practice, yeah. Exactly, yeah. Repetition is that movement, yeah? Just to address, yeah, of course. My, my shoulder position, are they, is that closed enough? They're that's fine, actually fine. Yeah. I can just about see your right arm there just about, yeah? yeah, yeah. That's good. That's some, that's some really, really good things. I mean, from our checkpoint point of view, okay? 
Spine angle's correct there. Nice amount of knee flex, okay. Shoulders, not the straightest line, but <laughs> it's over your toe line there now, yeah, okay. Yeah. I think one thing we did see in the past where you got a little bit tipped forward, but nothing to be afraid of there. A lot of the times you'll sort of see habits creep in and creep into being mind. Ball position is the biggest thing for you at the moment now, where that ball creeps forward. Yeah. Get it. Exactly. You will always want to keep going that way because mm -hmm. you've been seeing the ball sort of tennis in front of you. Yeah. You're comfortable with that ball being further right. Yeah. So that's why I said if you put the clubs on the floor, kind of create that kind of cross out on the range, as we said. It's getting used to be more, slightly more central. Yeah, again, just, just, just down to sort of right chest, just right centre. So once you've got that and that becomes more comfortable and natural, you'll be fine. But then you might find in six months' time, it just creeps forward yeah. again. I think I'll have my ball striking because I'm going to hit my down on the ball. Like my exactly. Yeah. Really exactly. Obviously, with the drive, it's going to be further forward, but with the eye and ending it on the ground there, you want that sort of back there. So, yeah. But generally, back swing now is good, but there's no, there's no lean forward. We said in the past, you sort of lose your spine angle. There's no problem there. I mean, you're basically staying on that yellow line. A little bit inside, maybe. No, no, it's fine. I mean, there's the club face there. Now the club sort of halfway back is sort of on line with your toes. You can sort of see the blur of the club face there. Yeah. That's good. Club face on there. Pretty much on plane. It's getting a little bit deeper behind you. But that's not massively a problem. Okay, all that will do now from that position is sort of create a little draw. Yeah. If it was a little bit more kind of up here, yeah, it'd be right. more of a fade. Okay. But that's not. It's not as if you're, you're not sort of snap hooking over there no, somewhere. No, no, no. So I wouldn't say it's like of a major. Okay issue there and like I say I know you're someone who wants to sort of analyse quite a lot of things too much would be just going to get into yeah. more problems than good to be fair so coming down there you're nicely on plane through your left forearm club face back on a new good path there club face nice and square you can still see there's a bit of daylight between your left and right arm there so your shoulders there are square impact your lower half twisting through nicely elbow down just functioning to so the club finishing over your shoulder there very good mate okay okay buddy yeah good to